Hello boys and girls. In the last lesson we read about amphibians in our book and we talked about those and we know that, and I have some pictures up here, we know that a toad is an amphibian and we know that frogs are amphibians. They kind of look like they're having a conversation. And we know that salamanders are amphibians. And now we're going to look at the life cycle of an amphibian and then more specifically the life cycle of a frog down here. So it says, and I'll read it to you and we'll figure out what we're going to highlight. The three stages in the life cycle of an amphibian are egg, larva, and adult. So let's highlight that. The three stages, egg, larva, and adult. An amphibian's life cycle begins when it lays eggs in water. When an egg hatches, a larva emerges. As a larva grows, its body gradually changes until it becomes an adult. An adult amphibian looks very different from a larva. So there's quite a bit of change that takes place. This change of body form from larva to an adult is called metamorphosis. And you might have talked about that already before when you talked about caterpillars turning into butterflies. This is the same thing. After metamorphosis is complete, most adult amphibians live partly on land and partly in water. Most amphibians return to the water to lay their eggs. So let's also highlight the word metamorphosis in that first paragraph up there. Now, more specifically, we're going to look at the life cycle of a frog. Um, and some of you may have had tadpoles at one time and watched them grow. So um, if you have, this will be a little bit of a review for you. It says, a frog's life cycle begins when an adult frog lays its eggs in water. Each small black egg is enclosed in a ball of clear, soft, jelly-like matter. Um, it almost reminds me of those orbies or orbits, whatever those little gel-like things are. I know when you put them in water and they turn into those like jelly-like things um, that I know my kids had them when they were little, but that's what it reminds me of. The eggs, which are called frog spawn, float in a large mass on the surface of the water. So those eggs are called, and we'll highlight that, frog spawn. And unfortunately, lots of times they don't make it past this stage because you get the animals that wander by um, that might end up eating them, um, but they do usually have a large amount of them. It says when an egg hatches, a larva called a tadpole. So in this one, we'll highlight the larva in this one actually has a name when it's a frog. We call it a tadpole. Up here we're just talking about egg, larva, adult. Um, the larva is called a tadpole and we're talking about a frog. The larva or tadpole looks very different from an adult frog it will become. The tadpole has a tail and lives in water. It uses gills to breathe. Next, the tadpole gradually develops lungs and back legs. As the tadpole grows, it continues to change. Its tail shrinks and it develops front legs. The change of body form from a tadpole to a frog is called metamorphosis. There's that word again that we saw earlier. When the tadpole becomes an adult frog, it can leave the water and live on land. Most adult frogs return to the water to lay their eggs. All right, now, on the next page, you know how Mrs. Shreddy loves her artwork. We're gonna draw, let me switch this over. We're gonna draw the life cycle of a frog. So get those pencils ready. Now, now when it's an egg, and we're talking about specifically the life cycle of a frog, when it's an egg, remember, it's just got, um, they're just like little jelly. And there'll be a group of them, little jelly circles almost with the little, the egg looks like that and they're kind of all connected and they kind of float on the water like this. You can put in as many as you want. Um, but this is what the egg looks like. 
Now, the egg, when it comes to um, a frog, it's called frog spawn. Okay, it's called frog spawn. And it floats on the water. It floats on the water. Lots of times, like I said, animals might come along and uh, eat it, but um, there's usually a bunch of them like this. All right, at two weeks, here we go with my fit, wonderful artwork. Your parents will get to see how horrible of an artist I am. I have two little eyes right here. Then we have a pretty long tail, okay? So at two weeks, kind of looks like that. We call it a tadpole. No legs, it doesn't have any legs yet. And it has a long tail. So two weeks it's considered a tadpole. Doesn't have any legs yet, but it does have that long tail. All right, six to nine weeks. Kind of looking a little bit the same. And we have a tail still. And now, horrible, right? I know. It has, at six to nine weeks, it has back legs that begin to form. Back legs begin to grow, to form. And, it still has a tail. At 12 weeks. All right. Those eyes there. All right, no, those aren't horns. Those are, the front legs are starting to grow. All right, it's starting to look like a small frog. Tail is shorter. And has front legs now. Six months. Okay, six months. At this point, we just have a very small tail. Very small tail. And then the last one, all right. Adult frog. No tail. Whew, I know. But you can see yours might be fancier. You might have more time to sit there and work on it. But this is basically your life cycle of a frog. And if we were together, I would be able to show you. We had um, some life cycle of a frog like little things to that we could have handed out. This one was your tadpole. Okay, that's what it was look like as a tadpole. Then we had six to nine weeks. It looked like that. 
See, it has the back legs and a longer tail. And then 12 weeks looked more like this one. Okay, we have front legs, back legs, and a little bit of a shorter tail. Um, six months. This one really kind of looks like a frog, but see, it still has a little bit of a tail back there, just a small tail. And then, of course, one year, the adult frog. See, don't my, my drawings look just like that, don't they? I know. All right. So there we have it life cycle of a frog. I hope you enjoyed that and I'm sure your pictures are probably a lot better than Mrs. Shreddy's but I wanted to do this with you since this is what we would have done in class. So have a good day boys and girls.